Would you want to be called Rocky Anderson on camera or Ross? No, Rocky. Rocky, yeah. okay. Why continue? Why do we need another rally? My question of you and the media is why aren't you doing more to get the truth out to the American people? When do we want it? When do we want it? Now! To have a mayor like Rocky, isn't that terrific? Now, for the top story tonight, the radical left is on fire. The mayor of Salt Lake City wants you to hear this. Crazy far left rhetoric. This was an illegal war. And will it hurt this country? Joining us now from Utah is the mayor of Salt Lake City, Rocky Anderson. So you want to impeach Hi, President Bush and Vice President Cheney and I guess everybody else in there. Um, Okay. No, actually, I want the House of Representatives to stand up for our Constitution, for the rule of law. Right. Okay, but there's got to be a crime in order to impeach anybody. So. No, I'm sorry. You don't know your constitutional history, Bill. There doesn't have to be a crime at all. The, the whole idea behind the term high crimes and misdemeanors in the Constitution, it's about political crimes. It's about abuses of power, breaches of trust. It's about misleading the Congress and the American people. There has to be a all demonstrable, the with all due respect, things. Mayor, I think I know more than you do I'm about so American history and the Constitution. This is fact-free television, and when you don't have your facts, what do you do? You call people names, you cut them off, you interrupt them, you scream over them when you're in control of the studio. There isn't one congressperson who will introduce an article of impeachment. You can't get anybody to do it because they know you're, you're a kook. I love my country. I love our Constitution. I believe very strongly in the rule of law. Yeah, well, your and interpretation of the Constitution is kooky. We're going to start this. the kind of power that will eventually get to Congress. We will communicate to our representatives that we expect them to do their job, and their job is to bring about fairness and reform in our immigration laws. Keep it up. We're all with you. Keep it up. You've got to sustain this movement. Thank you very much. My understanding, if I'm correct, is you're very powerful in supporting gay rights. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Because that's what I thought. That's what stuck out. So I'm gay, and so I yeah. appreciate so much you're fighting in that Mormon state for, for our rights. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of opposition, but then when you blast through it and you put these, these protections in place, everybody realizes it's not a big deal. He's okay. a good man. He's a good man. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Mayor Rocky Anderson is hereby recognized as a 2007 Pete Swazil Political Action Award winner in recognition of your exceptional commitment to equal rights. I supported uh, the concept of marriage equality in 1996, and it was considered such a, a fringe position, an extreme position, I was even told by people in the GLBT community here, you don't need to say that at this point. And I said, well, really, I do, because uh, it's a principled position, and if I lose the race, at least I'll be able to look myself in the mirror and know that I did the right thing. And now, no, 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 the point is, though, look at how far we have come in 11 years when marriage equality is a fact in places in this country. We got to bury the hatred and bury the guns, lift the hearts of the fellow man and come together as one. Ooh. We got to have one heart, one mind, one soul, one love. Can't you hear the ringing sirens calling you from up above? Ringing sirens, sirens. We're here to tell 
Congress, the Utah State Legislature, the governor, everybody, we need to step it up. Calling upon Congress to step it up, getting far more aggressive to help solve our problems with climate change, uh, energy independence, uh, investing in alternative energy, building a new economy. Uh, you run thank for you. president, please. Will I run for president? Yes. <laughs>